What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with this week's recap, hot take, um, thoughts on the latest episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch, so notably episode 10, Common Ground. So overall, I actually liked this episode because um, I almost thought that one thing was going to happen and it didn't, but we actually get a little bit more background into the mind of Omega. So jumping from the start to get the simple thing out of the way so when we're on the planet with the separatist guy and vampires um exerting their dominance and they bring in the walkers i almost thought that they were gonna bring in the first generation of the new AT-ATs like we see in um empire strikes back but kind of their predecessors and bridging the gap between the designs from the republic and the empire so I was a little bit bummed that we didn't get to see something like that, but granted we're still in that transition phase so the new design probably hasn't been come out yet or is still in the works, maybe it's still a prototype or something like that or they haven't um, normalized that look and feel of the Empire just yet. So while, so for one, one hand I was like that the sound is very familiar so I was not exactly ex expecting it to happen but maybe just that early version prototype of what we see so not sad that we didn't get to see it a little bit bummed yes but um, in general I can't wait to see if they actually present us with uh, um, a version of the at, -AT from the Empire Strikes Back era or basically the original trilogy era in the Bad Batch so moving on from that as far as common ground goes um, the title mostly to me refers to the common ground of the Bad Batch having to help a Separatist and it kind of harkens back to the Clone Wars episode for um, Heroes on Both Sides where um, well, I think I want to say it's maybe Padme and Anakin, maybe Ahsoka as well, learned that while Separatists are against the Republic in general, not everybody holds their ideals different from what the Republic holds so um, I think it's related a little bit to the Mandalorian story arc if memory serves it's actually been a while since I've thought about it but it's kind of related to that story arc where separatists don't necessarily think differently it's just that they were tired of the rules and delays and bureaucracy of the Republic that they were fighting against so um, that all was kind of normal and we get to see the bad batch uh, work their way through that but the common ground for me um, dealt or worked better with the Omega story progression in this episode on Ord Mantell with the lady she's staying with and I keep forgetting her name but I like that we that she that the lady was telling her that if she wants to prove herself with the Bad Batch that she has to show that she has some unique talent trait words or something like that to show why she should be allowed to go on all the missions and as part of the um, episode we learned that she actually has enhanced uh, strategy or strategic benefits so I'm actually curious to see how the her game went with Hunter and how they use that how the um, Bad Batch uses that to their advantage because they all have their own unique um, traits and um, abilities and things like that so I want to see how she not necessarily plays against Hunter, but plays um, in addition to what he can do because he's more of, uh, you know, he can feel those the events and things going on around him. So at, with um, Omega as a strategist, kind of better plan their missions, um, how she ties in with um, maybe tech backing her up a little bit as far as uh, logic and reasoning and science and technology and all of that goes. So all in all, I want to say this was, while this did feel like a little bit more of a step over episode it worked just because I for me it feels like the past few story arcs well with the pro, or with the completion of the past few story arcs I'm kind of curious to see what they do from here and what they do as far as um, using Omega and her strengths and abilities especially now that the bad batches um, debt has been paid off so that's kind of really all there is for this particular review um kind of just like with the past few ones kind of keeping it short and sweet but like i say every week i can't wait to see where they take it from here and what the next bit of um information is that they release and where they take it from here so with the 
this episode, I, as I mentioned earlier, I kind of want to see more of the, or now I kind of want to see more of what they do with the Empire and the Empire's progression as far as normalizing some of the technology and um, advanced um, weaponry and machines that they start to use by the time we get to the original trilogy. So um, maybe the Bad Batch is going to go on some sort of mission as far as a new rumored weapon. Not necessarily the Death Star because we've seen that enough, but maybe eventually we're um, kind of fill in the backstory as far as uh, Rogue One goes and uh, maybe a little bit more behind the scenes as far as maybe the Bad Batch had a hand in helping um, what's his name um, Galen Urso get um, get the pilot or get the plans to the pilot and have him rescued safely to get the plans out so for me that actually has been a speculation would be an awesome way to end the series or even bring it up as a couple episode story arc where the Bad Batch helped Galen or so with the Death Star plan so um, just kind of an awesome way to show the ability of the Bad Batch and have them tie in directly to the Rebellion but maybe build their way up um, with the Rebellion or in gen not necessarily the black market because for me that would kind of suck for them being kind of on the heroic side but it wouldn't be bad if they were doing something like that just to have them infil infiltrate um, the Empire's various military bases to get various plans stolen like plans for the at, -AT um, maybe some of their other weaponry or some of their various projects and things like that. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, um, thoughts on your own, maybe some little Easter egg that I missed, then you can find me on Twitter at headphones, at, sorry, on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is Headphones Neil Dahl Reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.